Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Burger King. Okay, let's go. Okay, I've already done Burger King once before, but this time I'm thinking we make it say Stephen King. And then I wanna make this top bun, I guess maybe both buns, look like Pennywise from It. So I found the perfect font for it and typed out Stephen King. I'm gonna turn the buns white to match Pennywise's face and start drawing in those facial features. Okay, so I drew the eyes and nose up here and then I'm thinking we draw the mouth down here. Okay, something about that's off. So I'm thinking what if instead of the lips at the bottom, we make it be the ruffly thing he wears. Okay, that is much better. Now the last thing I need to do is add on the hair and here is the final result. I am so glad that this idea came to me with Stephen King and turning it into Pennywise, but it definitely turned out a little creepier than I thought. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, we have Pepsi. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking we rename this one Scary. Not my favorite pun of all time, but I think it'll work. We'll find a scary font and then I wanna make it look like the top and bottom of this are lips and I'm gonna put some like vampire things in there. So I found this perfect scary font, but I need to change it to say scary. And now I'm just gonna trace over this part and attempt to make it look like a pair of lips. And I wanna add a bunch of texture in there just to give it more of that lip feel. All right, and now to add in the teeth and the most important teeth are gonna be the vampire fangs. And the last thing I wanna do is make it look like there is blood dripping off of the teeth and here is the final result. I'm not too sold on the name still, but I love how this one turned out. I think it is just the right amount of spooky and cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a Halloween spooky redesign, okay? Abercrombie. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking we find a new font and name it Aber Zombie, and then we're gonna turn the moose into like a zombie moose. Okay, there it is with the new font, and now I'm just gonna outline all of it in this kind of like scraggly black outline. And I wanna make it look like some of his legs are just like a bone sticking out, so I'm gonna do the outline, but then make some of it look like it's just pieces of bone. Okay, so here's the basic zombie moose shape. Now I wanna add like big creepy eyes and I wanna start adding in just like patches that looks like his skin has been just like falling off. And I'm gonna color those parts in red. Lastly, I wanna put some blood dripping out of his mouth as if he's been eating brains. And here is the final result. Honestly, the name Aber Zombie just worked out so perfect for this one. And I love this little zombie moose guy. It's giving me flashbacks to eighth grade. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Best Buy. Okay, let's go. Okay, so my thoughts on this one is just to rename it Best Boo and make it look like the whole logo is wearing a little ghost costume. So I found this adorable font called Tarantula's Web. And now I'm just gonna focus on drawing the ghost outline. I really want it to look like a giant sheet is just over top of almost the whole logo. So I just need to add in a bunch of ruffles here and there. But I definitely still want some of the yellow peeking through so it's pretty clear that it's a sheet over top of the original logo. Okay, so here is how that turned out. Now last step is I wanna add on a couple eyes just to the very top right around here and here is the final result. I love whenever I can incorporate a little cute ghost into these spooky logo redesigns. I think this one turned out adorable. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm gonna give a Franken mashup to whichever two logos this filter lands on. Okay, first we have Pringles plus NBC. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking for this is taking all of the feathers from the NBC Peacock, Oh, my cat is getting involved and making it look like they are thrown into the Pringles man. And then I'm gonna need to change his facial features to make it look like he's in pain. So first I'm gonna select each of the little peacock feathers and then rearrange them so that it looks like they're inside of the Pringles guy. So here's how that's looking. Now I need to throw it into Procreate to get the details in there. Okay, for each one, I wanna add like a little cut mark to them and then underneath of each one, make it look like they are bleeding. 
Now on each of the feathers, I want to make it look like they're just a little bit like disheveled slash broken. And lastly, I'm going to change his facial expression to make it look like he's in pain. And here is the final result. Definitely looks like we tortured the Pringles man with this one, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm going to combine them and turn them into a Franken logo. Okay, first we have Starbucks plus Apple. Okay, let's go. So yes, I do want to make the first ever creepy logo mashup in honor of Halloween. So I'm thinking we take her face and head and make it look like it's been sewn into the side of the apple. So first step is going to be to select some of the Starbucks girl. I'm going to resize it and make it look like it's kind of like sticking out of the apple. I went ahead and cut out her tail and I'm going to do kind of something similar. I duplicated her star and I want to make it look like it's just coming out of different places. I'm also going to put one more extra face just right there on the apple. Okay, now is the fun part where we're gonna really start seeing the gory details. We need to make it look like it's been sewn on. I wanna add some drips of like dried blood behind some of these cuts. I also wanna change her facial expression to be a bit more scary. So <laughs> something like this. And I'm gonna change the star on her hat to be an apple. The last step is gonna be just to make it look like this mask has been completely sewn on. And here's the final result. I think for this being my first in a spooky logo mashups, it turned out pretty cool. Uh, also very creepy. Let me know what you think of this one and what you think of this new series in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Franken mashup. Okay, we have Android plus Twitter. Okay, let's go. Okay, to stick with the Halloween theme, what I'm thinking is we kind of sever the head off of the Twitter logo and put it right here. Same thing with the wings and then kind of make it look like they're a little bit bloody and maybe even like stitched on to the Android robot. All right, so the first step is going to be to cut the head and the wings off. Now we need to start adding in the gore. So I'm going to go ahead and do just like a red bloody connection between each of the Franken parts. And I wanna make it look like they're stitched together. So I'm gonna add a bunch of little holes and connect them all together with the stitches. I wanna add a couple more scars here and there and just make the whole thing look a little more rough. Lastly, I wanna draw on the idea of like the eye fell out of his head and here is the final result. This one is a little creepy, a little gory, but overall the shapes really work together. Let me know what you think of it in the comments.